it seems like everywhere you look, you see some adaptation of a video game, comic book, or historical event getting the made for a modern day audience treatment. But we all know what that really means. More specifically, the race swap treatment. And despite what some alleged intellectual internet personalities may like you to believe, the reoccurring race swaps in entertainment is done on purpose and is undoubtedly part of an agenda. If we look at examples of characters getting race swapped, such as Starfire from Teen Titans, Ariel from The Little Mermaid, Sarah from The Last of Us, Commissioner Gordon from Batman, and April O'Neil from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it all paints a very clear image. It's not a stroke of genius on the part of companies, but instead it's a desperate ploy to appease their ESG investors and fool the audience into thinking this is about equality and fairness. Sadly, this method has shown signs of success. Fortunately though, there seems to be a bit of an uprising as of late. People have finally caught on to the agenda and have called out the perpetrators for their shady tactics. Now there are still some people who refuse to see what's right in front of them, be it willful ignorance or lack of awareness. This small but vocal pack of wolves will defend these race swaps as if it's a victory for minority people everywhere, when in reality, it's nothing close to a win for blacks, latinos, or other minority groups. It's simply a slap in the face from the head honchos in charge of making these race swaps possible. You see, to them, they don't think you are worth seeing in an already established black character or even an original black character. Same goes for female characters as well. N no. Instead, they'd rather give you hand-me-downs from established white or male characters. The stooges in charge expect you to cheer them on, be a good corporate slave, and defend these race swaps at all costs. And the sad part is that most of you fall for it and mob against people who point out the obvious propaganda. The directors and writers involved in these virtue signaling ESG whore companies will tell you that the race swaps are either for representation or that the changes are not a big deal and anyone complaining are just racist. Which is funny because race swapping characters is racist in and of itself. And when it comes down to the representation nonsense, well, over the years, companies have made it clear that representation only matters as long as they can increase their ESG score. So whichever horseshit they try to sell consumers is definitely not out of good faith. Recently, we've seen how reimaginings or adaptations of existing properties have been poorly handled, from the CW's Batwoman to HBO's Vilma. And we already see the writing on the wall with the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem and the upcoming Peter Pan and Wendy. Most of us know this song and dance from these indoctrinated corporate elite clowns. Announce a remake, reboot, reimagining, sequel, or adaptation, show it off with a trailer, and once they see valid criticism, the asshats in charge will then weaponize the project, in all in hopes of silencing anyone who's not a mindless consumer pig. The creators, or better yet, the hijackers depend on us to see these projects succeed. Not all of them can fall back on ESG and BlackRock whenever their projects flop like a fish out of water. So we, as consumers, should keep in mind that those pumping out this filth need us. It's not the other way around. Since we have the option to not consume said products, why give these people your money or attention? Why stay a slave to entertainment when we can easily walk away from it? We can look for something else made by individuals who respect the audience and won't race swap characters and use said characters as weapons when met with criticism. Or we can stop relying on entertainment as a means to happiness or escapism. Whichever option you choose is up to you, but remember, that there are infinite options and you don't have to subject yourself to propaganda disguised as entertainment. Keep in mind, all that propaganda is not escapism. It's a trap, a ploy to keep you hooked. 
they feed off of your attachment and investment in whatever they hijack. And if you question their shady tactics, then they, along with the brain dead zombies, will try to villainize you. Because they want you to stay trapped. Being a free thinker scares them. And they don't want you to act like an individual because then companies lose control. When they see black people think like individuals, it pisses them off. And you will see how quickly all that virtue signaling turns into hatred from blacks and non-blacks. Company execs and PR stooges can keep telling us the race swaps are not a big deal, yet if that was the case, then there would have been no reason to make those changes in the first place. No matter how hard they try, there's no good excuse for the bogus changes when it pertains to race swaps, especially when we have characters that have been white for several decades. Like it or not, there are some characters that are identifiable by their race. So many characters getting race swapped, yet we can't get anything new from Spawn or Static Shock. And even when we see black characters get their moment to shine, the retards in charge have to make it about race and identity politics, proving how fucked up their intentions truly are. Instead of giving us a good black character to get behind, they give us a black character meant to divide the audience with obvious race baiting propaganda. Just take notice of the lack of wholesome entertainment featuring blacks. Sadly, the days of Family Matters, My Wife and Kids, The Jeffersons, and Good Times are long past us. Nowadays, we constantly see social commentary with the intent of making black people hate white people and have a victimhood mentality. Just look at the Proud Family reboot, a race baiting cartoon aimed at kids with the goal of promoting racism and hatred among young audiences. All of this race swapping bullshit ends when enough people call these companies out and refuse to consume products featuring race swaps. There's better options out there, it's not hard to find, and it's not hard to see what's going on. The agenda is obvious. Denying it whilst in plain sight may seem virtuous and an easy side to take, but it only shows how foolish you are and perpetuates hatred. Race swaps are not good. There's no good intentions by changing the race of a character in order to appease another race. I'm sure the gingers out there are tired of seeing all the red-headed characters being changed into being black people. There's even black people who are tired of seeing their race replace characters. Despite what the race hustlers and black supremacists would like you to believe, there is a large portion of blacks who want to see existing black characters and original black characters in entertainment. Instead of seeing white daddy give them hand-me-downs of non-black characters in the form of race swaps. It's not a victory or progress in society. The truth is that it's a lack of respect to existing black characters and the consumers. It shows how they view black people and the lengths they will go to to get you to consume product. And this all ends when you walk away from the corporate elite's agenda and refuse to back down from indoctrination and woke nonsense. They fear hearing free thinking individuals. So let them be afraid because it's never too late to speak up for yourself.